What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how you can route your Nexus 7 or your Nexus 5 if it is running Android L. It's pretty much exactly the same process as routing it um, if it's not running Android L, if it's running KitKat, except it's a slightly different boot file, I believe it's modified. It's pretty easy to follow, all the links are in the description, enjoy the video. The first thing you guys need to do is go to the link in the description. This will take you to droidviews.com which are really handily put together a page with all the different download links you need and you've got the different versions um, depending on which recovery you want. These recoveries are pretty similar, I'm going to go for the TWRP one just because I prefer that one. Um, you've got links for your Nexus 5, your Nexus 7. There's also the modified super user flashable and Savoka's modified boot image and again you've got a different version for your Nexus 5, your Nexus 7 so just be careful which one you choose. Obviously this is all done uh, at your own risk so um, follow the guide as closely as possible and you shouldn't go wrong. Remember this will wipe all your data so if there's anything you need to save then back it up beforehand. The other thing you're going to need is the Android SDK so go to the other link in the description to download that. If you need to have some information on how to set that up there is also a link here which will take you to a guide. Next thing you need to do on your Nexus 5 or your Nexus 7 is go to the About section, tap on the build number three times and it will turn you into a developer. You can then hit back and you'll see there's developer options. Hit that and you want to turn USB debugging on. You then need to go to your downloads folder, you need to grab the open recovery TWRP file and you want to drop that into your SDK ADB folder. Next up you want to turn your tablet or your phone off and you need to plug it in to your laptop. As I mentioned in my previous guides, getting Android L, the key thing with this is getting a USB cable that actually works, so if it keeps messing up it's probably the USB cable, so make sure it's one that's got a decent fit. Next thing you need to do is put this in a bootloader. To do that on the Nexus 5, hold down volume up, down and the power button. If you're doing it on a Nexus 7, it's just volume down and power, and it will boot into a screen that looks like this, and if you use the volume keys you can get it so it says start at the top. Then you need to open up a terminal and you need to navigate to this folder here. The easiest way to do this is to right click get info and this will tell you where it is. So if you go up here you copy that, enter cd space control v, do another slash and then type in android and that navigates you to this folder here. You then also want to rename open recovery to just recovery.image. Then in your terminal if you're on a Mac you need to prefix this with a dot and a slash you want to type in Fastboot flash recovery recovery dot zip uh, dot img rather so fastboot flash recovery recovery dot img and hit enter you'll then get a waiting for device and once that's done you want to type in again if you want a Mac dot slash fastboot reboot and that will cause your Nexus 5 or your Nexus 7 to reboot so once your Nexus 5 or your Nexus 7 has rebooted, you want to go to your downloads or wherever you had those original files and you want to drop the super user SU across to your device storage and you also want to grab the boot.zip file and drop that across to the storage as well. I apologise for that massive jump cut guys, I had to quickly go out and quickly turn into about 4 hours but I'm back now. So we've got the files all on the Nexus 7, you now need to turn your Nexus 7 or your Nexus 5 off and boot it into recovery mode. Always gotta have the T. Okay, so now you hold volume up and power. And this will boot us into our recovery mode. I'm just gonna give the screen a quick wipe down. Here we go, team win. And you get this nice, um, if you choose the team win recovery, you get the nice touch one. Or you'll have clockwork mod, but they're both pretty similar. So what you wanna do now is go to install first thing you want to install is that super user file, so swipe to confirm flash and that will install, then want to hit back, hit install again and this time go to that boot.zip and exactly the same thing, swipe to confirm, then you just want to hit reboot system and at that point your autofocus will have a small anaphylactic shock. Now this boot again may take a while, um, just give it a little bit of time. And as you can see in the app drawer here, we've got the super user app, so we're now rooted. 
Hope you enjoy that guys, you should now have a rooted Nexus 5 or Nexus 7 running Android L. Please like this video if it was useful and you enjoyed it. Please also subscribe if you haven't seen me before. You can follow me on all my social networky things in the links in the description for wallpapers and icon packs and things like that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.